Hello everyone, this is a brief description on how to use the Casio EX-F1 high-speed camera that we have in the lab. And it's good to be noted that it will take high-speed and uh, high-definition video and still pictures. It'll do all three uh, in some form or another. So this is just a brief overview, so for complete instructions and safety safety procedures to use when when uh, operating this camera, please see the user's manual, as it's just a brief overview here. So first, to start off with, we obviously need to turn it on, so we have the on switch, is up here. We need to remove the, the lens cap. It's, it's not automatic, you need to remove it manually. No one has set the clock lately. So now we have, we can use the the eye uh, kind of viewer or the, the main LED screen, so I usually use the LED screen. To run high speed, we'll, we'll select this the HS on this selector on the back on the right. To shoot normal high definition video, we'll select it to the center, and to shoot uh, still photos, we'll go, or to shoot standard video, we'll move this selector over all the way to the right. To start the video recording, we're going to press this, the center red button here and then you'll see it say uh, record there and give several specs about what's going on. If you want to take a picture, we have a picture control up here. So it's a standard kind of shutter and you'll hit here to take a picture. There are several different modes to take pictures. High speed picture taking capabilities I believe will take up to 60 frames per second but I haven't used that much. The most most of what I use this for is the high speed camera mode so uh, that is controlled here. I'm not sure if you can see this on the video, but it'll say HS and then a number. If we want to change that, we can go to Menu. And under Quality, we have the the third choice down. If we select Down, we can get to Quality. We select it by hitting Set, and we can go th 300 frames per second, 600 frames per second, 1200 frames per second, or 30 to 300 frames per second. So the main three are, are the 300, 600, 1200 that I use. And as you get faster, your resolution goes down. So at 300, you're at 512 by 384. At 600, you're at 432 by 192. And at 1200, you're at 336 by 96. So it keeps getting thinner as you go. So at 300, if we select 300, and we say, OK, It'll show you that we're, we have this full range of, of video being recorded. Now if we stop that and we go back to here and set 600, you can see we have a thinner bit being recorded, only, only this, this section here. And then if we go back and select 1200, there's an even thinner bit. Uh, that's being recorded over here. So once you select the kind of video that you want to record, for the high speed, you can see, if you look in here, that this only this center bit is in full color. Not only the center bit, I think it's a little off with the camera. And so you can see where in the, in the frame of the camera that your high speed video is going to be recorded. Now, focusing is a key bit. You got obviously you have uh, shutter speed, focus, aperture, and ISO are important for this particular camera. Uh, so you have focusing is up here. You have on the side, you have a, a, this focus button. So you can hit that and change. It's on manual focus right now. You can go to autofocus and go to some some close focus, or set it to infinity so it's focused all the way out. So I prefer the manual focus. You can turn this dial on the front. When you do turn it, you can see uh, this bar across the bottom will tell you where in the focal range and kind of the optics movement range that you're working with. Once you get to one end, you can't change it anymore. And the screen will zoom in on whatever it is that you're looking at when you do turn it. The if you if you um, press down on this this controller. You can get to, right now the ISO is set at 1600, so it's high as it can go. And you can change it from 1600 to 100 or auto. Um, but I like it high because we're usually running out of light. 
to get let me see if I can remember how to get to the okay so your your aperture setting is here at this F it's selling 2.7 right now and I don't remember how to get to it at the moment oh there we go so if you if you hit the center bit it'll either say focus or um, the aperture and then if you push this to the to the right or left you can change the the aperture setting so um, usually we're running out of light with the high speed so we have the ISO as high as we can and the aperture as wide open as we can obviously this reduces our depth of field so anything that's not in focus uh, is not right in the focal plane is going to be out of focus but that's what we got to work with so this is a, a basic overview of how to use this camera and obviously it mounts on a tripod the standard way there's a quarter inch uh, bolt hole in the bottom and then you can mount it on any tripod that you want uh, i hope you found this useful and please see the user's manual for any any additional information have a good day oh and you can control the eyepiece versus uh, the led screen here and if you want to review pictures you can push this um, play button this green play button here and it'll review video or pictures or whatever you're going to do and i don't remember what the red the red button does but anyway all right have a good day uh, two important points I didn't cover in the, in the last video about the well, I'm going to cut this together but in the, in the first bit about this camera is uh, the battery and getting the pictures off uh, just to note the, the, the mount for the tripod is here the battery is removable on the base so you just open this little latch here and the battery comes out nice and easy and there's a nice charger here. All I have to do is slide it in and then plug that in and you're good to go. And, uh, so we can stick this back in and just line up the, the brass bit with the brass bit. Slide it in and you're all set. To get the uh, pictures or video you recorded off, on the right hand side there's this little clasp. We put it forward and let it open. We have a, a simple SD card here so we can put that on any, any SD card reader and uh, pull our pictures off, or video off. I believe you can set up um, a connection using the these pins over here, and these connectors over here, but I, I haven't ever done that, so uh, maybe that'll work. Um, so that's that bit.